Hello, welcome to this channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a returning viewer. So today we're gonna be doing something kind of fun. I mean, when are we not doing something fun, right? <laughs> so if you guys have seen my lace made video, you will know that I have a thing for cottage core, for fairy core, and all of those adjacent aesthetics. And I thought it would be helpful to do a review since there weren't very many reviews on lace made. This time, however, I wanted to review a more well-known own brand, but the topic of this is I'm going to be reviewing a more affordable option for fairy core and cottage core. Now, of course, we could have a long discussion about sustainability and why fast fashion is evil and why we should avoid purchasing fast fashion at all costs. However, this subject is very complicated, very nuanced, and I don't think I'm eloquent enough or knowledgeable enough. As you guys will see from my video history, I am an avid supporter of thrifting secondhand, and I'm also a supporter of sustainable fashion as well. However, I do acknowledge the fact that sustainable fashion isn't always accessible for some people, especially if you were below the poverty line, or there's also the issue of size inclusivity when it comes to sustainability, whether that's thrifting or more sustainable ethical brands. And I've heard a lot of those things voiced in my previous videos, especially on TikTok, where people say, oh man, I wish I could thrift because I'm plus size, but I can never find anything. Or I wish I could purchase from said brand that you're featuring, but they don't have my size. Unfortunately, with a lot of fast fashion brands, they are more size inclusive, including places like Forever 21, I think. I think they might have a plus size line. Uh, Shein, Romwe, they all have plus size lines and their clothes are actually cute. Are they good quality? No, they are oftentimes trash. However, sometimes you can find good things on there that are good quality. I certainly have in a pinch. I'm sure some people will look at me and say, hey, you don't need to buy fast fashion. You don't have a necessity to, whereas other people, they do. However, I would caution people to not make a song on people based on what they see online. Remember that when we see persons online, we are seeing the most curated version of their life. You guys don't know me. You guys don't know other people that might have purchased from fast fashion. You don't know what we might have been through. Like me, for example, I have been unable to hold down a job since 2020 for various reasons. And I'm not gonna go into it in this video because I wanna keep this lighthearted and fun. There's also the issue that I have gone up and down in size a lot due to medication, due to my health. And during the pandemic, when all of the thrift stores were closed and all of my clothes weren't fitting, I did have to dip into the fast fashion world in order to have clothing that fit me that I could wear for job interviews. It's just a topic that I don't really wanna get too far into because there's definitely better voices in terms of talking about fast fashion, evil ethics, and all of that stuff. In fact, I'm gonna link a video in the description that's actually from TikTok that perfectly sums up my feelings on it. How, you know, everyone deserves to dress the way that they feel on the inside. They deserve to express themselves and not everyone has access to different types of clothing. So we shouldn't cast judgment on someone because they want to look a certain way, but that's all they are able to afford. But also, we should be careful to not overconsume. With that, I have a big ol' haul to show you guys. I was scrolling through the Instagrams as I usually do and I came across an ad. And usually I try to scroll right past those ads because I know how that works. The moment you click on or look at an ad, that's all you get. But I was roped into the aesthetic of it. Good old Shein Romwe decided to target me. As you can see from some of the pictures, we have girls with fairy elf ears, there's a, an aesthetic filter, and it's very fairy core. And I'm like, are they in my brain? Are they in my brain? Do they know exactly what I wanna wear for spring and summer? Like, stop it guys, stop it. Instead of just scrolling past, I decided this would be a great opportunity to do a review for you guys, and it is gonna be a very honest review, and show you guys some pieces from this Romwe Shein co fairy cottage core line that they're promoting at the moment. And just for disclaimer, like I said, this is gonna be a very honest review. I'm not gonna pull any punches when it comes to talking about the quality and the fit because already from the photos I could see some issues but I did it anyway because I, I guess I don't respect myself that much and the credit card so I'm gonna be showing you guys the items that I picked up I'm gonna be telling you the things that I like but more more most importantly the things that I don't like and buckle up because there's a lot 
of problems with these items. Let me pull up my old order history. And in case anyone is wondering, Romwe and Shein and Zaffle, I think are all the same company, just with slightly different packaging. Um, so you will see sometimes Romwe stuff sold on Shein and Shein stuff sold on Romwe. It's like a thing. And they're always, you know, dubious quality. Okay, so the first thing that I got, when I look back at my, my purchase history, which I did purchase this when I was very tired and hadn't taken my medication yet, perfect time to make sound decisions. And I looked back at my, my history and I was like, oh, why did I get this? When it comes to skirts, specifically shorter skirts, even though I am not tall, I always have an issue with them being too short for my comfort and also the waist being too tight. I'm gonna be showing my measurements or listing my measurements in the description so you guys can use that as reference. But I did purchase a medium in, in most of these items. So let me show you the skirt. It is this plaid green tennis skirt and i have to say that i was actually pleasantly surprised with this skirt it feels like shein it's not like the best quality but it's not terrible either and it fits me very very well and even though it's a little bit short i'm still gonna wear shorts underneath and it's gonna work it's not like too short to where i can't wear bike shorts underneath you know so i'm pretty excited about this i am gonna be using this and getting a lot of wear out of it um so the first item was pretty pretty uh you know it it, it exceeded my expectations. I had very low expectations for all of these items, so. And then the next item, I'm not gonna lie, I thought was a pair of shorts uh, at first. I did figure out that it was a skirt pretty quickly, but I was pulled into the fact that it is that tapestry fabric that a lot of like corsets and stays are. You'll see on a lot of these brands, not these brands, but like cottagecore brands. And it's very thick. It's very durable. The only problem is it's really short. Like it's also big in the waist, which I was not expecting. I always size up with Shein, Romwe stuff because you know, it's it's kind of small. And even sometimes when I get mediums are still a little bit too small, but this is actually too big. And then it's also too short. So I'm trying to decide if I want to turn them into shorts, like how I had originally interpreted this thing, because there certainly is enough fabric but also I don't know if I want to devote the time to it. It also stinks. <clears throat> I don't get cancer. Uh, One last thing, this video is intended to give an option for people that want to dress cottagecore or goblincore or fairycore or any of those aesthetics, but have a you know smaller budget. At the end of the day, I will always advocate for thrifting, but sometimes people can't find these types of items in thrift stores, things that could work as cottagecore. I will in the future be doing a series where I will be thrifting cottagecore items and showing you how to style them. However, I cannot control what is in people's thrift stores. So that's why I'm giving this option to people. But at the same time, obviously I'm gonna root for small businesses before these, you know, monsters. <laughs> So I will be linking a bunch of my favorite brands down below. They're Etsy shops and smaller businesses that make beautiful clothing that if you are so inclined to dress in this way and you wanna save up for these items or invest in them, they are amazing. So I'm gonna be putting that in the description so that you can support those businesses. Yeah, you get it. Okay, next. This skirt, I was actually really excited about. I say I had low, low expectations for things, but this I felt like I couldn't go wrong with because it's just a basic, it's a brown, long midi skirt and I thought it would be like a perfect base for a cottagecore outfit. It also has a stretchy waistband. However, they did not list the hip measurements. They only listed the waist and the length. And I think they really need to list the, the hip measurement because this is really narrow. This is super tight on my hips and I don't have necessarily big hips. I am by no means a pear shape. I do have a little bit of a booty in the back, but on the side, like not that much. So if you are a pear shape, you have a small waist and wide hips, you will still need to size up for this item. Even if the waist measurement will fit you, this will not. And I'm really disappointed about that because I thought that out of all the items, this one would work and it did not. So the next item is another skirt. I guess I was on a little bit of a skirt kick and it's also plaid. That's another reason why I was questioning myself when I ordered the, the other skirt because I was like, why do I need two green plaid skirts? This is excessive. I guess I just didn't realize. And I was really worried about this one after my experience with the brown skirt, I was like, oh crap, I ordered a small in on this one too. Why did I do that? And then I tried it on and actually did not have the same issue as the other one. It flows away from the hips very nicely and it fits. It's very thin, but I feel like it'll be really good for the summer because it's gonna be breezy. I might put on a little bit of a, of a chemise underneath 
a half slip maybe. But out of everything, I think this might be my favorite item. I feel like it's very flattering color-wise, and then it's also flattering fit-wise. So I actually don't regret this one either. So that's two skirts that I like. And then this item is kind of on the same theme with the other ones. It's another green plaid item. This one also fit me really nicely. I ordered a medium in this one as well. I did see a little bit of an issue with certain items because they kind of cup the bust. I found that certain items, the placements of the seams were really odd. Like even in some of the pictures, you could see that the bust line or like the, the waistline or what, what do you call it? Fit above where the, the model's natural bust was. And I'm like, yeah, no, uh, that, that's a no. But this one uh, looks like it fit the model pretty nicely. So I decided to give it a go. It is kind of thin and it's kind of like canvasy type fabric. So it's not my favorite texture, but I forgive it because it looks nice on. And I don't, so I don't regret this one. It's kind of like that milkmaid style. So this one was a, was a win. Um, I believe now we're gonna be getting into more of the fails. So I got this set. These items were sold separately. We have these shorts and a matching, once I get it out, top. And the way I saw it, I was like, oh, these could be cute pajamas or loungewear to like sit around the house. On the website, it looks more baby blue, but in real life, it's more minty green, which I mean, I'm not mad at. I like green as you guys can see, but the only, okay, I wouldn't say the only problem. There's a lot of problems with this. First of all, I ordered a small in both of these because according to the measurements, it was fairly oversized and it looked like the top was fairly long on the model, but the top is too short. It barely reaches the shorts, like the, the waist of the shorts. And the shorts are way too tight on my hips. Like waist-wise it fits because it's stretchy. But again, we have the hips that are too, too tight, at least for, for me. I'm sure someone else might like it snug, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like when things are too tight on my hips, it gives me a mom bod. No offense to moms. I just, I don't, I, I don't, it's not my thing. So I was pretty disappointed in these. And also the fabric, it just, feels like a shower curtain. Like, I feel like this is the same exact type of fabric that my shower curtain in my bathroom is. So uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't really like this. And I was pretty excited because butterflies, I'm like obsessed with butterflies lately. If you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you will know how much I love butterflies and moths. But that was disappointing. Speaking of butterflies, we have another butterfly top. Now, <laughs> Speaking of things that I'm like, why the heck did I buy this? I just, I don't really like these colors of this top. It's very muddy. It's a little too earthy for me. Like I like earthy things, but when it comes to color palettes, I like brighter, more vibrant colors. And so I'm like, girl, you need to take your medication before you make purchases because you make stupid decisions. I, it's not a bad top. It's very soft. It's very stretchy. It's very comfy. But the problem is it's just, it's just not me. And for someone else it would work. For me, it doesn't. So I don't really like this very much. And then I also got another butter, more butterflies. This one I like a little bit more. It has like that baby blue color and then the lace, it's very dainty. My main problem with it though is I feel like the boob cups are a little far apart. We have that like wide gap. I don't think that's very flattering and I don't think it really cups my boobs very well. I mean, I'm wearing, I'm gonna be wearing it over a shirt because I don't really like to show my arms, but it's okay. It's not, it's not great. It's just okay. And I think that's kind of a reoccurring theme for this brand and brand family is things are okay. They're very rarely fantastic. I have a few items from Shein that I've gotten over the years that I've, I've had for years. That's where I'm like, okay, it's okay to buy fast fashion. If you're planning on not over consuming and you're planning on using them, for years to come, says the girl who bought 13 items in one go. I don't usually do this. I did this for the content. Do as I say, not as I do. We're gonna have a little bit of a break from the negative and I'm gonna show you an item that I actually really liked. This spaghetti strap, not spaghetti strap, it's just a little tank top. But what I like about it is it kind of looks like a stays or a corset, but it's not, it's got a zipper back and it kind of, but it has this shape on the bottom. This is super comfortable and would be a really good layering piece for like a casual cottage core look. If you're not trying to go full cottage core with like a lace up corset, squeezing your organs, but you just want to kind of have the look. It's very forest fairy, very cute. For a split second, I thought it came with the top that it was advertised with. However, after I placed the order, I'm like, oh, 
oh, it doesn't say two in one. Because there were a few other similar items that were two in one and this one was not. But that's fine. I have plenty of tops I can wear this with. I don't need two tops. Um, I have lots of thrifted things that this would work perfect with, so. Another top that I'm actually really happy with is this also kind of a mock corset and it has that tapestry print, not the same exact print as the skirt, but it's similar. And there've been a lot of corsets or stays with this type of fabric kind of going around the internet for a couple years now. But I like this one because it's a little bit different than the other ones. It has like the lace on the bottom and then the actual lace up portion is a little bit different. Um, this will be really nice over a dress or a top and I'm, pro I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. So I felt like it was a good purchase because I have been eyeing those other corsets but I wanted something a little bit different. Not to end this on a negative note, but the last two items were probably the biggest disappointment out of everything. This top I was probably the most excited for because I loved the rusty brown color. And also it kind of had that milkmaid style, but it was off the shoulder and has these spaghetti straps. It looked like a really nice basic that would go good with like a frilly skirt, but it's not it. I'll explain. So first of all, the fabric is kind of rough, kind of stiff, not the greatest. It's also very tight in the bust and doesn't quite cup the boob very well. It kind of goes like slightly above, but at the same time, the waist is kind of baggy. It kind of flares out and I don't think it's supposed to do that. Also, the arms are really tight in the shoulders and the straps are awkwardly placed in the front. In the back, they're fine, but in the front, it's a little too far out, which makes it, I don't know, it's just weird and it falls down really easily. I tried adjusting because they do have adjustable straps. I tried adjusting it and nothing I did worked. It was just like the idea was great. It was cute. The execution, horrible. I'm breaking up with this top. The last item, another disappointment. I saw this top and I thought it was really cute. I tend to buy my camis and tank tops from different brands like Target and Forever 21, you know, more fast fashion-y brands, just because I have difficulty thrifting these types of items and I do wear them often, especially in the summer. So I always justify it. So I saw this top and I was like, hey, it's a cute little basic. It'll be really nice to layer, something to add to my my camis. And it, it, it does look really cute. The problem is the lining is super short and it's sewn in to the, uh, the lace a little bit awkwardly. And I feel like it's not gonna cover my bust. I was struggling to like keep it down. And then I realized I couldn't pull it down because it was completely sewn onto this. I don't know how to describe it. I like the color. When it's not on, it looks cute, but on it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's sewn on her here weird. Anyway, it doesn't pass the vibe check. I don't like it. And I'm really sad because I was looking forward to having some like basic cottage core summer clothing, some items that, cause it gets really hot here, like scorchingly hot in the summer. And my insecurities about my arms just goes out the window when it's 105 degrees and 86 degrees in the house because it, our old AC unit can't keep up. And I wish I could tear my skin off. So I was like, hey, another little thing to add to my arsenal. Nope, no, 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 no. Editing Scotty's gonna put up a total of the things that I liked, the things that I didn't like, and then the maybes up on the scoreboard so we can kind of get a percentage of the things that worked and didn't work. I always tell people, wait for there to be reviews before you make the purchase. Look at all the reviews, look at the pictures, then make your judgment. These items were brand new. They had just been released, so there weren't any reviews. I just wanted to get in on it quick so I could provide the information to you guys and also review it for other people and let them know what's up. I probably won't be doing another one of these fast fashion hauls anytime soon in the future. I want to focus more on sustainable brands that I work with because I do work with a lot of sustainable brands on Instagram and TikTok. I want to focus on thrifting, but also I want to start doing some more DIY and crafting and thrift flips as well to show you guys how to utilize the clothing that's already in your closet, how to alter it in a way that fits your current style or aesthetic if you're no longer in love with it. Things of that nature. Hopefully you're not mad at me too much for doing this big old haul. This is not gonna be a regular thing on here. Unless a brand reaches out to me and wants to send me things, I may do it just so I can at least provide the information for you guys, let you know if it's worth it. And also so I don't have to like put all this on my freaking credit card because I need to, my husband does this. Don't worry, I'm sending some of this back, returning it. Hopefully they actually resell it and don't put it in a dumpster but I, I left the tags on everything, so, and I kept it with the original pack. Anyway, we're gonna move on. 
anyway guys thank you so much for watching i've been really enjoying your comments i've been enjoying all your interaction and also those that find me on on instagram and tiktok after seeing my videos on here i really appreciate you if you enjoyed this video please give it a big old like please comment down below if you have any thoughts about anything that i've said today we will have a discussion down there and um if you're not subscribed why not join the fam and also go follow me on tiktok go follow me on instagram I also recently made a Ko-Fi page. So if anyone wants to contribute to my creative projects, there's a place to do it because I do a lot of photo shoots and video projects. And in June, I'm gonna be doing like a fairy princess fantasy photo project with my husband for a five year anniversary. Just keep, there, there's gonna be other references to that project in my other content. So just, if you wanna, if you wanna know more about that, just go binge my other content. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to know each other, we'll catch up. And um, oh, one last thing, I also have a print shop of my art. If you don't know, I'm also an artist. I have a second channel with my art and I have a Shopify shop with stickers and prints. I might be switching to Big Cartel soon because I'm getting charged $30 a month for a shop that isn't really bringing in any money. I haven't sold anything since December. So why don't you go buy something if you like cottage core, if you like mushrooms, if you like art. And I'm gonna hopefully be coming up with new, I'm hopefully gonna be coming up with some, I'm hopefully gonna be coming up with some new prints soon. Um, I have some artwork that I really like that's based on my own photography, so I don't have to worry about copyright. So, and I also have an iPad Pro now and Procreate. I've had it since the beginning of the year. I don't know why I'm bragging about it now. Yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much. I really, 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 really appreciate all of you and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye